Hello everyone. I wanted to show you a quick bit of maths that I think is quite interesting and is related to our current uh, global situation. Uh, I'm using quite a simplistic model, but um, the mathematics that comes out of it is uh, quite, uh, quite eye-opening and uh, creates a paradox that you might be interested in. So I want you to imagine, if you can, uh, that uh, a town has been infected by a virus. Uh, this town has a population of 10,000 people and the virus, which is you know, as yet unnamed, is prevalent in 1% of the population. Okay. And then following that, there's some also some details about the test that you can do uh, that determines if you've got the virus or not. So uh, if you have the virus, if you are sick, then the test is uh, guaranteed to identify this correctly. OK, uh, what that means is that there's no uh, false negatives. OK, what we call a false negative. So you're always told that you have it. You're never told that you don't have the virus if you actually do. So I'll put that in no false negatives. Secondly, however, um, the test will sometimes incorrectly state that you've got the virus when actually you're you don't, okay? And it does that 5% of the time. So this is the rate of false positives, where you're healthy, but you're told you actually have the virus. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to draw a frequency tree for this information uh, and we're going to work out a uh, conditional probability with what we've got there. Okay. So the first set of branches, this is going to be um, determining uh, your state of health, if you've got the virus or not. And then the second part of the uh, diagram is going to be what the test says. Okay. So let's um, put the population on, okay? So we start with 10,000. That's for the whole town. And uh, this is gonna be have the virus. This is gonna be doesn't have the virus. So 1% of the people have the virus. That's gonna be 1% of this, which is 100. Which leaves 9,900 for those that are healthy. And then for the test side, we'll put them on as well. That uh, test says that you have the virus, and then this is going to be test says you don't have the virus, and the same over here. Okay, so if you have the virus, uh, the test is always going to get uh, the outcome right. Okay, so if you've got the virus, 100 people, they'll all be told that they have the virus, leaving none for the false positive, negative, sorry, okay. Um, if you don't have the virus, though, uh, there's a 5% chance uh, the test will be positive, uh, falsely, and 5% of 9,900 is 495. Okay, subtract that from your 9,900, that leaves uh, 9,405 for those correctly told that they don't have the virus. Okay, that's our diagram filled in. Um, what I want to look at in particular is a conditional probability. And so I want you to suppose that uh, you get your test results back in the mail and uh, your test results say that you have the virus. Okay, that's information that's known to you. So the test has come back positive and given that information, I want you to work out the probability that you have the virus in the first place. Okay, so the chance you, you are infected, given that you're told that you are. Okay, now we can work this out using our uh, tree diagram. Uh, if we find uh, the parts that we're given, okay, the uh, uh, test testing positive, that's going to be uh, this part of the diagram, or possibly this part of the diagram. Okay, so really it's these individuals here that are the focus of our little investigation. So out of those individuals, that's a, a total of 595 people. What's the chance that you're in the group of them that have the virus? Well, that's 100 out of the 595. Okay, and that should be quite an alarming uh, fraction to look at because that's roughly 16.8%. OK, 
Okay, so even though uh, the information says that the test is uh, highly effective, uh, in fact, uh, given the uh, low uh, prevalence of the virus in the population, this is what causes this paradox, where actually, if you've got a, a positive test, the chance that you have the virus is very low. Okay, now uh, that's just the mathematics behind it. Uh, I'm not uh, casting any aspersions on what's going on in the real world. Okay, uh, it's just a bit of fun with the mathematics, uh, but it's still something to think about all the same. Okay, take care. Thank you.